guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well today i have just had a shower and done some skincare so that is the reason for my skin and my hair being in plaits um but this is the start of the house vlog number four um so obviously if you guys have been watching all my other videos um then you might be interested in the next updates that we have. If you've not already watched the other videos, then make sure to go back and have a look at those as well, as obviously I'm doing everything in chronological order, so some things might make a little bit more sense. Um, I think I have already shown you guys my doors um, for the back garden, but I will just show you again because I now also have a curtain pole and some curtains put up. There we go, so here's my curtain pole and then we've got some curtains that are just tied back at the moment. Obviously we still need to paint the plaster on that side of the wall here, so that's why these curtains aren't completely to the edge yet. I got these grey curtains from the range um, and I knew that I wanted something really sheer, really see-through but just also to give us that slight bit of privacy as well. So I'm very happy with those and then behind this bit of curtain here obviously I've got tiles right away so there's not many options as to where I can drill a tie back for the curtain in so I also found these from the range and they're just little magnets on each side and they clip together and tie back your curtain without having to drill anything in the wall and I just thought that these were so clever because obviously we have no option well we could drill through the tiles but I just didn't want to um and also if you were renting and not allowed to put any holes in the wall or anything I just think that this is a super cool idea really simple and I think it just looks quite sleek there as well another update that I have for you guys is that we have been purchasing a load of appliances and they're all set up and ready to use we've been using them a little bit already and I absolutely adore them so we have the hob which is a nice kind of glass induction hob this is from Bosch um, and because our house doesn't have the red cooker switch on the wall and then the the wiring in the walls we had to find appliances that would go into a standard plug socket so this just plugs in like you would your kettle, toaster, etc. So just a standard plug like that. Plug it in and jobs are good in. And then the same also goes for my oven. This is a hot point oven. Um, and so again, we did not have the cooker switch. So had to make sure that it was on a standard plug like up there. Um, and yeah, so you just plug it in and you're ready to go. I absolutely love having an oven as we didn't have one for about the first two months of living here. Um, so yeah, very glad to have an oven installed. Sticking with the kitchen, obviously we have a lot of black and rose gold bits and pieces like the oven, uh, the microwave, what am I on about? Like the toaster and kettle that I showed you guys just a second ago with the plugs. Um, so that is basically the colour theme that we're going with for the kitchen. So obviously some areas are still the brown that came just as we brought the house. But we are starting to... Let's move the towel starting to get some of our cupboard doors painted and back on so we've gone for black um, matte black finish and then the rose gold knobs and handles and I just think they look so good already 
there's a lot of our cupboards over here that still need the doors sorting but we have also done the drawers on this side and I just think it looks so sleek I'm so excited to see how it's all going to look together please ignore <laughs> I'll turn it back around this way because the rest of the kitchen is a bit of a mess. I've done some washing up, I've done some batch cooking, so there's a lot of bits and pieces just everywhere over the countertops. But yeah, I'm very excited to see the finished result of the kitchen because the couple of bits that we've done already, I think look fabulous, exactly how we wanted them to be and the countertop is going to be wrapped in a lighter colour and then we're going to change the floor in as well so that'll be like a white or a light grey so the black even though obviously it's quite dark being black I think will balance out perfectly in the room and we've got a, nat a lot of natural light coming in as well um, so yeah I'm very excited for that to be finished Oh, it's a little bit darker in here, but we're now in the utility because we also got a brand new washing machine. So we picked up the Samsung washing machine um, in white that has the black door as well. You can get it in grey. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot better. This was our old washing machine and obviously you can see, if I put my hand here for reference, it's really not that deep in comparison to the new one that we've got so it has a much bigger drum so we can get a lot more washing in there which is good and if I turn it on it makes loads of little dings and then when it's done it does a little sing song to tell me that the washing has finished um, obviously the noises that it makes are not the reason why we chose that washing machine it's just it's the small things it's the little things that make me happy so it's just one of them little small things but the washing machine itself is brilliant now this is definitely not as big of an update as ovens and washing machines but I've also put a little bird feeder in the garden because I thought I wanted to feed the birds. I quite like watching birds to be honest. That sounds a little bit strange maybe but yeah so I filled that up this morning and I'm hoping to catch some little birdies eating from there. And yeah so I think that is all of the major updates for the moment. Um, obviously I'll keep updating you guys, we've always got loads of different things going on, um, so yeah, whenever anything else happens, I'll check in, we'll keep catching up, keep having little house chats which I really enjoy, um, and yeah, hopefully soon I will be able to show you the finished kitchen, because I'm really hoping it doesn't take too long, because I'm very excited about that. Um, oh, here's another update actually. So we have a three bedroom house. Obviously you'd know that if you have seen my empty house tour. And Cal has the smallest bedroom, so the third bedroom. And that is going to be his little gaming room. And so he's been setting that up um yesterday mostly and i just think he's done a really good job so this is cal's little gaming area he's got two screens his keyboard his pc chair headphones hung on the side and then it's a bit dark but that is some drawers over here as well there is some rubbish and stuff that we need to get rid of over here but let's ignore that and yeah I just think it looks really good and this is where I'm sure he will spend the majority of his time I can't lie I keep thinking of loads of different things that I can show you guys now so I'm just doing a bit of a tour around the house we also got a new shower as the one that we had before was not very powerful at all 
so this is our new shower it's a mirror decor one so i got cal and his sister to fit that for us the other day and this is the best part of the shower um, it's obviously a rainfall shower so it kind of all comes directly down on you and yeah i just absolutely love our shower so much so now i think that is actually all of the new updates of the house but obviously we keep doing so many different bits um i sometimes forget to update you guys but i think that's everything for now so today cal's been at his mum's house she usually cooks a sunday dinner so he goes back to have that so i've been doing some washing up cleaning tidying hoovering and then I've also batch cooked some pasta, um, which has bacon bits, tomato sauce, cheese and chicken chunks in there. So that's going to be my lunches at work for the next few days. And so for this evening, I think I'm just going to chill, dry my hair off a little bit more because even though I've put it in plaits, these are very wet. Um and watch a bit of TV. I can't think what's on the telly tonight. Um, I've been quite enjoying watching Crufts at the moment, watching all the little doggies compete. That's been quite cute. Um, it's Sunday today, so I will also watch the Great Pottery Throwdown. It's the final tonight. Um, I'm terrible with the names of the people on there, but I think the blonde woman is going to win. I'm rooting for her. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my evening and I'm sure I'll catch up with you guys again soon.